So the truth is, everyone is faking it. It's impossible to feel confident in yourself 100% of the time, despite what you see on social media, even influencers and celebrities have their ugly days. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five of my tips for how to feel more confident and stay confident. So if you wanna find out what these five tips are, and the last one is the most important, I may add, so make sure to keep on watching, and as always, watch until the end. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm Isabella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome here to my channel, Concept 3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, we will be talking all about how you can feel more confident. So if you are really looking to find a way to boost your confidence and to go out into the world and really just kick some... Um, behind, then this is a video for you and let's go ahead and get into it. So as an image consultant, this first tip is at the core of what I do and how I help my clients and it's dressing for you. It's not dressing for those trends that come and go or dressing to emulate your favorite influencer. It's really trying to find clothing items that are going to suit your specific characteristics. Now in terms of dressing for you, you need to keep in mind a few different aspects that are really going to make the difference when trying to really bring out your best attributes. And the first one is color. A lot of people don't think about the type of colors they are buying and whether they suit them or not. If you are new to my channel, I talk a lot about color analysis so I help people find their best shades according to their color season. So when you shop for your best colors and you get colors that are going to, you know, really help you glow, this is going to add one aspect to help boost your confidence. Another piece of this is buying clothing items that are going to be flattering on your body type. And I also talk a lot about how to dress for your body type here on my channel. And it's one detail that can really make the difference and help boost your confidence for the day. A lot of people don't think about it, but it can really make or break your outfit. And then lastly, another important chunk of this is buying garments that fit your personal style. Because a lot of the time we have that impulse buy and it's an item that's maybe really cute on the hanger, but it doesn't necessarily fit with our personal style and also our day-to-day -day lifestyle. So this is another important thing to keep in mind when you are trying to boost your confidence through clothing. So tip number two is also a huge part of what I do in helping my clients elevate their overall image. And it is maintaining your grooming routine. And a lot of the time we let this go out the window because we're focused on our outfit and other things. But to be honest, this is the root of your overall look and it also helps with your confidence. So number one, you need to pay attention to your hair. Are you getting regular trims? Are you doing deep conditions? Are you making sure you're just taking care of your hair so you are feeling you are most you know, fresh and you're putting your best foot forward? Number two, you need to really make sure you have a skincare routine. Whether you are a woman or a man, skincare is so important both on the face and on the rest of the body. So you want to make sure you are cleansing, you're hydrating, you are wearing your SPF, and you're also moisturizing on your, you know, over your body and also exfoliating. These are also important in, you know, really helping maintain a polished look that will ultimately help you feel better. And then lastly, we need to really focus on our nails. Whether that's toenails, fingernails, we need to have some sort of routine. Whether you go to the salon or whether you do them at home, you need to make sure to keep your nails trimmed, clean, and very fresh because this is not a cute look when you go into the world and people are staring at your half painted toenails or your uh, your nail polish that's cracking. I feel super insecure when I step out and my toes and my fingernails are a mess. Take that extra time to take care of you and you will definitely see a difference in your confidence level. So I'm gonna pause the video for a moment to ask you if you can all click the like button if you are learning how to, you know, be a little bit more confident. It really helps out the channel and it also helps people find the video. All right, that's it. We can go ahead and get back into the other tips. 
So this third tip for being more confident is something I know a lot of us struggle with or have at least struggled with in the past. And this is taking care of your physical and your mental well-being. I know we're all so busy with a lot of stuff we have going on and it's hard to find the time to really work out and eat healthy, balanced meals. But to be honest, when you are not at your best, when you haven't had a good meal, a good workout, or even enough rest, it's impossible to feel confident and to feel at your best when stepping out into the world. So you really need to make sure to prioritize your physical well-being through working out. So whether that's exercising 20 to 30 minutes a day or exercising a couple times a week, anything is really going to make a difference and not only help you look better, but also help you feel better internally and really just help you radiate a little bit more confidence. Another aspect of this is eating well or eating balanced meals. So you need to eat fruit, you need to eat vegetables, you need to get your protein and really leave out all that processed junk, the sugary stuff, because it's not going to help you feel any better and it's not going to help you be more confident. And then lastly, you need to make sure to get enough rest and to avoid burnout because you really need to make sure you are prioritizing your rest and that you're trying to balance everything in today's crazy you know, craziness and all the things that go on. So this fourth tip is something I see a lot of people definitely doing. And this is having bad posture and bad body language. You see people walking around with hunched backs, people with their arms closed, their head down. And to be honest, it's not cute and it's not gonna make you feel any more confident. If you wanna be more confident, you really need to prioritize having a good posture and having open, confident, and very secure body language. Because a lot of human communication and language is also body language. So if you are open, if you're confident, if you look like you know what you're doing and that you're comfortable with the situation, people will believe it. But if you're closed off, your shoulders are hunched, you have a hunchback, your head's down, and you're like shaking in the corner at a party, people aren't gonna talk to you and you're not gonna make yourself feel any better to go and talk to anyone else. Even if you're not feeling the cutest that day, it happens to all of us, you know, just pick your shoulders up, wear a cute outfit, you know, pull your hair back in a bun and pretend until you feel better because I guarantee you that a lot of our body language is really the key to feeling and looking more confident. Okay, we have reached tip number five. And this is one of my favorites, although it doesn't have a lot to do with fashion or styling or beauty. All of those are external things, but this one really comes from within. And it is doing the inner work. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, it sounds so hippie. What does that mean, do the inner work? Doing the inner work means accepting and loving yourself. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you accept yourself and love yourself at your lowest potential, your lowest effort, and your lowest um, vibration. It means accepting who you are, what you look like, and what is doable and what's actually reasonable for you. So once you are able to accept how you look, your background, your skin tone, your hair texture, whatever it is, the sooner you're able to accept that, the better, because then you say, okay, this is who I am, this is how I'm made, this is what I have to work with, and everything that is external can only help elevate me. But at the end of the day, no matter how much I wanna be that celebrity, that you know influencer that's a size zero, super tall, you're not gonna ever be that person because that's not your path. So once you are able to accept that you are your own individual, you have your you know parts that are beautiful about you, although you might not like everything about yourself physically, we have to come to terms with who we are and um, you know our different strengths and what we bring to the table. Do the inner work, love yourself, you know, of course, take care of yourself, dress up, but all of this really comes down to how you feel about yourself on the inside. So out of all of these tips, I definitely feel like I'm working so much on developing my inner self. What about you guys? Which one of these tips are you trying to really improve in your everyday life? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. 
After all of this, if you're still feeling like you need more guidance in the beauty and fashion department, you can go ahead and reach out to me at concept3 at outlook.com and book a image consultation or a seasonal color analysis. Spots are booking, so make sure to get yours before they all run out. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button along with the notification bell below so you are notified every time I upload, I upload twice a week, so I definitely wanna make sure you are here for everything. This being said, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video, bye.